Welcome back, everyone. We are here with a video here about the EA Sports outcry that continues this year. EA has not been doing very well from a public standpoint throughout the world of gaming. But before we get into that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to get subscribed, turn that bell notification on to stay up to date with new content on this channel. And if you'd also do me a favor, drop a like on this video because it does help people find this channel just like you did. Now, I, I do YouTube here, and this particular channel is just based on the sports gaming world. Uh, we got some bigger things happening here in the next month or so, so stay tuned for that. But we're keeping everything sports-related centered right here because it's a huge, huge subgenre of gaming, and it's definitely one that I hold near and dear. That's why I have a specific channel just for it. Now, EA Sports, EA as a company, has... Well, let's just say they're probably at the top of people's hit list when it comes to gaming companies they do not particularly care for. And it's reasons like what happened in UFC recently that people are getting that idea. Now, this ain't the first time that ad-based gaming has happened, or at least, you know, ads have showed up in games. I mean, just look at NBA 2K, I believe, 18? No, it was 19. 2K19, when that game went on sale for like 4 bucks or whatever it was on every console, they added in-game ad well it wasn't in-game technically it was a loading screen ad but it was a video ad and it artificially inflated the uh, load time to make you have to watch this entire advertisement that terrible move terrible move now what ea sports did which does not do anything with the 2k series because it's not their company uh they did something during uh this past week with ufc4 and it was not uh something that was received very well now i'll be honest when I first heard about them adding ads, I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. But when I saw what it was, or at least what I've seen so far, it's in the replay part of uh, the game. So if you, it's usually at the end of the round. So once a round finishes up and they want to show you replay from the best of from that round, you would get like, just like you would in an actual UFC fight, you would get a, a, you know, a quick image of an ad. I believe for this one was The Boys, uh, Amazon's original show. Awesome show, by the way. Uh, and it was like, it was just pop up for like two seconds and then it would just go into the replay. Now, typically what was there before was the EA Sports logo. And, I mean, they replaced it with just like a two-second ad or something like that. Now, a lot of people are saying, we pay $60 for this content. Why are we getting advertisements in? Now, I get that for sure. This is where I'm kind of torn because I love simulation in sports games. And if you want to really simulate the true experience of a sports uh, title or sports you know, arena, if you will, is having that kind of ad placement makes perfect sense, right? No. I can see both sides of the fence. You, you're paying for this content, and you're still getting advertisements for it. it. It's like you're paying Netflix for a subscription, but you're still getting advertisements for it, which you don't. But, I mean, it, it, I really think there's a good argument on both sides for this. That being said, more people are against it than are for it, and the outcry was big. EA has been one of those companies that people are extremely vocal against and things change. Look at Mass Effect 3 a few years ago when the the ending did not uh, take very well. <laughs> so EA and BioWare worked on an extended cut to add a little more uh, juice to the story, if you will, uh, kind of fill in some plot holes with it. And then uh, during the summer with the Fixed Madden franchise, hashtags that were going around, they actually publicly commented on it. It was thrown up on ESPN, talked about there, and they're promise they make updates to franchise even the first update that they're going to be doing is kind of okay whatever that should have been stuff in there you shouldn't put tuning in a huge update that you're planning to do uh, but they are and then of course we got this i know i'm missing other things like the battlefront 2 situation from uh the ea's uh star wars battlefront 2 which ea needs to lose that license i mean jenna fallen or is a step in the right direction but now we're getting a little off topic so ea sports had these advertisements in ufc 4 and a lot of people were very upset this week. And we just found out today, I believe it's today, today? No, this was last night. This was yesterday. I'm sorry. Uh, but there's an update to it today. Uh, EA has officially responded to fan outcry due to these ads being placed within the game. And they are removing them. Or they have removed them, rather. And this is just another way that if your voice, your voice can be heard no matter what. And this is a kind of a good thing, I guess, about the modern age of gaming. So if this game was released on a cartridge without online connectivity and they had these advertisements in them, um, you couldn't do anything about it. Now you can you can absolutely, uh, you know, subtract them. But the reason that was able to happen in the first place is because they are online connected and they were inserted after the fact, after purchasing the game. Now, if the game came out like this, I don't know if the blowback would be as big. Um it's kind of like with the NBA 2K19 situation. So, I mean, when you added those video ads and you were forced to watch them, you couldn't skip them. The loading time was artificially inflated. 
that's where it becomes a problem. So EA had to know this was going to piss everyone off. And it did. It did. Uh, and here's what someone from the EA team said. They said that I'm part of the community team here at EA, and I want to post here and give you an update on the situation. Earlier this week, the team turned on ad placements in EA Sports UFC 4 that appeared during the replay moments in gameplay. This type of advertising inventory is not new to the UFC franchise, though we have typically reserved to play, displaying ads to specific main menu tiles or Octagon logo placement. Again, I mean, I don't see many people complain about the Octagon logo placement of the ads because that's just what you see in real UFC. Just like what you'd see at the very beginning or beginning, the replays and stuff like that. You would see ads in a UFC pay-per-view or a UFC TV event. Like, you would see this. That's why I'm okay with it. Now, when you're adding, like, maybe extra videos or just throwing ads all over main menu screens, like they kind of hint here, that's where it kind of gets a little too annoying and a little too intrusive. But when it's part of, like, a replay section like that, that particularly doesn't bother me. This is this is not a popular opinion. I get that. But um, And they say it's abundantly clear from your feedback that integrating ads into the replay and overlay experience is not welcome. The advertisements have been disabled by the team, and we apologize for any disruption to gameplay, which it doesn't disrupt gameplay. Like I said, it's just part of the replay screen, which I believe you can turn replays off, um, that players may have experienced. We realize that this should have been communicated with the players ahead of time, and that's on us. Uh, I think you still would have had the same problem. Yes, if you would have communicated ahead of time, it would have shown a little more transparency on it instead of just randomly throwing in there. That is an issue, uh, just kind of unloading ads into the game like that. But I still think you would have gotten blown back. Like, like, why are you adding ads into a game we purchased from you? Your your money that you're getting from us should be enough. And I want to know what you guys think because this is definitely something that you can have arguments on both sides. Like I say, I'm more on the side of like I like the added realism to it. Like when you're watch- playing an NBA 2K game and on the side you get uh, next to the score table, those will rotate ads. That makes sense. Or like when you see player of the game presented by State Farm or whatever, that's what you see in a game. Like that doesn't bother me because it integrates into the simulation experience even more so. Yes, ads can be annoying. They can be annoying, but they're not taken away from the gameplay. It's just literally just a logo on there. Usually it's just maybe a flash of something that you're not even actually integrate or interacting with. So that I'm okay with. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think these ad placements are really that big of a deal? If you so, let me know why. If you don't, then let me know why as well. Otherwise, like this video if you haven't already. Or dislike it if you didn't. Uh, subscribe it. Uh, to this channel, subscribe to this channel. What the hell am I on? I don't know. It's Sunday. I'm ready to uh, just keep relaxing, I guess. <laughs> but in the meantime, like I said, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to us here for more content just like this. And in the meantime, thank you for your support. And as always, party on.